Hey guys, it's Steve here at Hangsters Hot Rods, and before we get to our newest edition, we're going to go over some things that we're doing here at Hangsters you may not know about. If you want to purchase a vehicle from us, you see it on our website at www.hangsters.com. Maybe it doesn't have some features you would like it to have. Maybe you want to change wheels, tires, hoods, striping. Uh, maybe you want to change the exhaust system. Maybe you want to put fuel injection on it. Maybe you want the car to have air conditioning if it does not have it. Maybe you want to change gauges so on and so on give us a call we'll get a quote on what that would be to change that uh, item on that vehicle to make it perfect for you um, also we want to remind everyone we have shipping and powertrain warranty included on mostly all of our vehicles on our website if you go on our site there you'll see um, shipping is within the 48 states our powertrain warranty is three months or three thousand miles on the engine transmission and differential internally lubricated parts only and of course, if you're getting a four-wheel drive vehicle from us, that would include the transfer case and the front differential as well. Uh, we also want to remind everyone we have financing on the vehicles. Again, if you go on our website at www.hangsters.com, click on the financing tab next to the specific vehicle that you're interested in. Fill out the application, hit submit or enter down at the bottom left, and we receive that application. We send it out and we go from there. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can see our videos of our current inventory and some videos of past uh, vehicles that we've had to get a sense of what we bring in here at Hangsters. Well, without any further uh, delay, we're gonna go over our newest edition, and it is a really beautiful one. Um, what we have here today is a 1968 Chevrolet Camaro in the RSSS style, and this car is just, just in great, beautiful um, condition. First thing you're gonna notice is the paint. It is a uh, black paint. The paint is just beautiful on the car. Very shiny, very smooth. Um, we also have the white nose stripe here. Again, and that is very smooth, shiny as well. The paint is in great shape. We have the SS style hood with the uh, chrome inserts there. Next thing you're gonna notice is the wheels and tires. We do have the American Racing polished aluminum wheels. Of course, these are the five spoke and that is at all four corners. Coming back, we're gonna go over our first gap on the driver's side. This is between the front fender and the door. Going down, very even. Body lines up really nicely there and there. And of course, down here, you can see we got the chrome rocker molding as well, and that is on both sides. Our driver's side of the windshield, no chips and cracks. Our bright work on the car, really nice condition. We do have some scratching here and there, but overall, pretty nice shape. Our driver's side glass, no chips and cracks, and this is tinted. Um, our second gap on the driver's side between the door and the quarter panel. Very even going down. You see the body lines here and here, and your moldings line up very nicely. What we're gonna do now is gonna pop the driver's side door open here, and we're gonna go everything on the interior. You can see we do have seat belts front and rear. We got the pro car, bucket seats in the front there. We do have a uh, full length center four console. Gauges in front of the shifter, that is a Hurst shifter, five speed manual shifter. You can see the carpet, the dash, um, the uh, door panels and the seats are all just in fantastic shape, very nice condition. Moving along, coming around to the back of the car. Our rear window here, no chips and cracks. Glass is just beautiful. And you can see through the glass there, um, we, we will have pictures. We do have speakers mounted through the back here. We got Alpine six by nines and we got an Alpine subwoofer all in that rear deck lid. And we got the uh, shoulder seat belts also for the back and for the front. Our trunk gapping, nice and even the whole way around. And of course we do got the trunk mounted rear wing here as well. Our chrome on the rear bumper is in great shape, a really nice condition. We do have the uh, backup lights, the RS uh, style valence back here with the reverse lights, and of course the SS fuel cap there. What I'm gonna do is open up the uh, trunk here and we'll go everything inside here. Under the trunk, body color, of course there's your trunk light, that does indeed work. Your jams, Great shape, nice and smooth, nice and black like the rest of the car. Weather stripping, also nice condition and intact the whole way around. Down here inside the trunk, we do have the floor mats to go with the vehicle. The floor itself, as you can see, 
great shape. Got all your indentations and embossments. You got your drains, you got your mount, all in a rough textured gray paint, really nice condition on the floor. And then up in here, we do have the box for that subwoofer that's mounted up very nicely flush up in the rear deck lid. You can see the box that descends down into the trunk. Of course, there's that Alpine amp as well for that subwoofer. Moving along. Come along to the passenger side. Again, I always address the paint when I come around the passenger side. It is in great shape. Really smooth, really shines. And for black, it just looks great. Coming up to our first gap passenger side. Quarter panel to door. Very nice and even. And you can see the body lines right there, lines up nicely and your moldings line up pretty nice as well. And of course, there's the chrome rocker molding that the other side also has. Passenger side glass, no chips and cracks. It also tit in like the other side. And of course, we do have the dual mirrors on this vehicle in chrome. Now what I'm gonna do is open up the passenger door and we'll go see the interior from this point of view. Again, we do have shoulder and lap belts here for both sides. Well, shoulder belts in the front um, with the dual lap belt. Carpet is in great condition. Center console is in great shape. You can see the dash glove box also in great condition. Moving along, coming up to the second gap passenger side. Door defender. Very even going down. And you can see that body line there and there lines up very nicely. Passenger side of the windshield, no chips and cracks. Gap from the cowl to the hood, nice and even, straight across there. Coming around to the front, um, there's that white nose strip again. The uh, front bumper chrome, very nice condition. You can see we got the black, the, uh, excuse me, hide away headlights on this for being the RSSS style. The grill, headlight buckets all look to be in great shape. I don't see any missing pieces or anything from any of that. Looks really nice. And we do have the black lower uh, air dam down there as well. Well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop the hood and we'll go over everything under the engine bay. Under the hood here, of course, firewall, I mean, aprons are in your matte black. Firewall in black, you've got the rad support in the black as well. You've got the new material under here, under the hood, your fire guard there, all in great shape. What we have powertrain wise under the hood here is a GM Performance 350, 385 fast burn engine. Runs fantastic. Um, these are great, great engines. Aluminum GM Performance heads, aluminum intake. Um, of course, we got the Summit uh, inline fuel filter here with the auto gauge uh, fuel gauge there. We got the uh, double pumper four barrel carburetor. Of course, we do have power steering, power brakes, air conditioning. We also have the aluminum radiator. A lot of really nice options on this car and um, it does, it just runs fantastic. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this up in the air. We're going to show you the undercarriage how nice that is. Hey guys, we got our 68 Camaro up in the air. We're going to go through the undercarriage components as we always do. Starting at the front, um, lower control arms look to be of a stock style. Upper control arms are Hotchkiss tubular control arms. That is up on the upper control arms on both sides. Those are Hotchkiss tubular. We do have Bilstein front shocks. We do have our front sway bar on the vehicle, which is also a Hotchkiss item. So this is a Hotchkiss front sway bar, Hotchkiss upper tubular control arms. Bilstein front shocks. We do have disc brakes on the front the whole way around. Oh, disc brakes on the front and disc brakes on the back. So the whole way around is disc brakes. Um, our front cross member here, great shape. Uh, nice and solid, no holes in that. Um, we also have Hotchkiss adjustable tie rod end sleeves here. We got a lot of Hotchkiss components on the car. Um, very nice additions to uh, these cars, make the handle a lot better, give it a lot more stability. Um, also our front frame sections. Really nice. And really nice. We do have uh, long tube headers coming down in the dual exhaust with an X pipe and we're going to go over that in a moment. Um, before we do, our oil pan on our 350.
our rear main seal, our case seals on our Tremec transmission, and our output seal nice and dry. I don't see any leaks on any of those. They all look great. Um, now dealing with our exhaust here, coming back. This is stainless exhaust going into an X-pipe here, going back into dual stainless magna flow mufflers, and we're going to see those in a moment. Our flooring here and here looks great. You got your drains, all your embossments. Coming the whole way back, you can see all your embossments. Back, your fixtures, your drains here, your drains here. Floor is really nice. Um, before we go back any further, I'm going to point out that right here, we got Hotchkiss frame connectors. Some more Hotchkiss uh, items here on the car. Of course, these keep the uh, chassis more stable, handle a lot better here prevent twists there. So nice Hotchkiss frame connectors. You got your e-brake cables here going to both wheels. You can definitely see that's a newer style. Very nice here. We got a balanced drive shaft. Here's our X-pipe coming back and this is stainless exhaust. Coming back into our mirror finished stainless MagnaFlow mufflers. They go up over and out on either side of the leaf springs and we'll address that in a moment. Our input seal here at the rear differential. And our rear differential seal, nice and dry. I don't see leaks at either of those. We do have a Moser Engineering rear aluminum differential cover. Of course, you got the drain and fill here. That's nice to have those two options as well. Our exhaust, as you can see, comes out around the tank and exits down at a 45 on either side of the um, leaf spring there. Also right here, and being uh, that said, we do have leaf spring suspension on the back of the car and our front leaf spring mounts look good. And look good. Our rear hangers look good. And look good. We got air shocks on the back of the car here which is nice, you can adjust the height of the car to your uh, desired height. Um, our rear frame sections look good. And look good, our fuel tank here. Rear strap mounts look good, straps look good. And the strap mounting points up here behind the differential, those also look good. Our floor up above the differential, very nice. All your indentations, all your embossments, all your fixtures, your mounting points and seams all look great. All in all, the car, this car is very, very nice underneath. And oh, I do want to mention again, drum brakes on the back, drum brakes, the, I mean not drum brakes, disc brakes on the rear. So we got disc brakes the whole way around. I just want to bring that up because this, that's a very nice option to have here. Of course, a lot better than the factory brakes were. Like I said, air shocks on the back, just really fantastic condition underneath this car, really looks great. What we're going to do now is we're going to lower it down, fire it up so you can hear the engine run. 